Okay, dear students, let us see what are we going to do in this question. A particle undergoes simple harmonic motion. The graph shows the variation of velocity v of the particle with time t. So the SHM is taking place and the graph is showing the velocity of the particle with respect to time t. What is the variation with time t of the acceleration of the particle? So we want to comment on the acceleration. So my dear students, uh, I thought about this question a couple of times now and um, I thought of creating some easy solution for this but I believe there is no such easy solution because it's a complete different variation that is not given in books, that is not given in the data booklet. So we have to see it, how are we going to do it. So the only method possible for this is that we will first see that what is the variation of the velocity. So we can say that as it is evident from the graph that velocity is directly proportional to negative of cos omega t. This is evident from the graph, isn't it? Like the positive cos will start from the positive side, but this is the negative of it. So it's negative cos omega t. There is no other method, like I don't know it. If anybody else suggests you, there is another thing, another case. So when we would like to find acceleration, we need to differentiate it. I know many students would be having problem with the differentiation, calculus, might be because you are in IB1, you're not in IB2, or you're not good with calculus or something. But anyways, we have to do it. If you are not going to do it, just remember it. That is the only method, no other method is there. So in this case, the acceleration will be, now the cos would be converted into negative sine, and omega will be multiplied with this equation because of a rule known as chain rule in differentiation as given by Mr. Newton. <laughs> okay. okay, so this negative and this negative would be cancelled out, so it becomes positive. So it's evident that the acceleration will be having a variation which is directly proportional to sine omega t, so it, is, it will be clearly a positive sine variation. And out of these graphs, only and only A is giving you the positive sine variation. This is the positive sine variation. This is positive cos, this is negative cos, and this is negative sign. So all of these become wrong. Now, this is the only method that I believe uh, we can use here. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the YouTube with all other students also. If you have something to say regarding to this question, like if you have some other method or if you want to say something, please do mention that in the comment section. All the best. 